I will be cooking another delicious Hmong home cooked meal and this is going to be squirrel stool and here on this plate I have two squirrels that I have already cleaned up and ready to be cut into pieces. For seasoning I use some salt, mushroom seasoning and some lucky fish sauce. Also, as I mentioned uh, many times before, when making a Hmong meal, we do not have an exact measurement. Depending on how much you're cooking, you are going to adjust the seasoning based on your taste, based on the flavor that you like. Right here, I will be using some lemongrass, but I don't have any fresh. This is frozen lemongrass, but it's going to be okay. Hmong food, it's cooking what we have, right? Using some green onion and Thai eggplant. I wish I had more, but this is all I have left. Three pieces, but it's going to be okay. And when making squirrel stew, we have the option to make the stew, uh, the broth thin, or we can make the broth thick. Today's version, I am going to make a thick squirrel stew. So on this plate, I have some cooked sticky rice that I will be using to thicken the broth in this stool. In this bowl are freshly picked herbs from my garden. I have some ginger leaves. Here are some Thai chili leaves or tips. In the old days, when my mother made squirrel stool, she usually would add a Thai chili tips and leaves like this, and it's very delicious. Here are some unspiked colanto, lemon basil, and a combination of green color and red color Thai chili. I like a combination of both. Thai eggplant has a purplish color when cutting it open. Therefore, when preparing Thai eggplant to cook, we do not want that purplish color adding into the cooking. And uh, any time when preparing Thai eggplant to cook, I always like to use fresh lime. Either fresh lime or fresh lemon would be just fine. And then turn on some cold water and then just squeeze in the fresh lime juice like this because the acid of the lime juice will help to wash away the purplish color from the eggplant. Now cutting my eggplant. Just drop it in there, but make sure prior to cooking it, you need to rinse the Thai eggplant with water one or two times to wash away the lime juice, the acid from the eggplant before adding it into your, the cooking. Let's cut the rest of my ingredients here. Ginger leaves, this is edible, so I am going to cut it very finely. Green onion, I like to cut it longer, about an inch long. The Thai chili here, I'm not going to pound it very finely. I am just going to pound it coarsely. A strong smell of fresh chili. So this is all I'm going to pound it very coarsely like that to be added to the stool. A hard squirrel. Hopefully it's not a tough squirrel. Preparing the sticky rice, I am going to make it into a patty, kind of like hamburger patty. And this needs to be toasted. 
uh, on a non-stick pan. I'm doing two things at the same time. The pan on my left is to toast the sticky rice. The pot on my right here, water is boiling. This is for the stool. So I am first adding the lemongrass. Going to drop in the sticky rice here. When making any kind of stool or soup, always bring the water to boil. I'm adding some salt. Some mushroom seasoning. Fish sauce is to be added toward the end. This is the quick way to use a nonstick pan or we can uh, grill it on an open fire too. My rice is still being toasted. When making either stew or soup, I always like to remove any impurities, bubbles floating on top of the pot like this. That will give a more clear and delicious soup or stew. Let's remove the toasted rice, okay? The toasted rice has now been cooled, so I am going to break it apart and pound it in this mortar. <laughs> so sticky. And I am short too. So the counter is high for me, and I have to tiptoe to see my mortar here. How sad for being short. <laughs> I have tasted the meat. The meat, it's already been tender. So this is a tender squirrel. And then I am adding the Thai eggplant now. Before adding the sticky rice into the pot, I'm adding some broth here to mix with the rice. And I'm putting on cooking gloves. It works better if I use my hands to mix the rice with the broth. Let's add the toasted rice. I think I'm going to use all of it. Mmm, smells very good from the toasted rice. Mmm. Very gently mix it together here. I'm adding the ginger leaves here. And then the chili. Squirrels do taste the best if it's spicy. That's my opinion and that's how my mother used to make. I came from a family that we eat very spicy and making stew like this, my mother always make it spicy. Let's try to see if seasoning is right or if I need to adjust anything. Oh, it's about right. It's about right. Now I'm adding the chili leaves or tips here. Oh, looking so delicious. Wow. Now the green onion. Now adding the lemon basil. Oh, my, my. <laughs> looking so delicious. Wow. And then now the unspiculanto. This is a very fragile herb, the unspiculanto, so I want that very last. Just a quick stir and then it's done. The flavor is good, so I end up not having to use any fish sauce, so, and that is fine. But if I needed to, I can use a little bit, but this is good for me. So it's ready. Oh my, look at this. Oh, so tasty. Turning off the heat now because I don't want the herbs to be overcooked. I always do what I do. Remove the lemongrass out of the pot before I dish out the food to serve because these are 
not edible items and it looks messy in the bowl looking so delicious oh my <laughs> by the way my children do not like squirrels so they don't eat squirrel it's just gonna be mostly me my husband rarely eats once in a while a little bit but mostly me i love squirrel oh so i'm guessing this is probably all for me i am already drooling as i dish this out here my friends okay let's eat um, it's already early afternoon and I've been waiting for this delicious meal. So I have not had anything heavy, but a couple of fruits and my morning fresh tea. Look at the thickness of the broth. Today I am using chili tips and leaves to make my squirrel and it reminds me of my mother most of the time if she had chili tips as i mentioned she always used it in her squirrel so cheers no jojo today only cold water because it's hot outside eating sticky rice today of course i am going to be using my hand so i apologize for that And this sticky rice I made from the rice cooker quick and I already have a YouTube video how to make sticky rice using the rice cooker so please visit that. Oh, I'm going to dip it. Hmm. Hmm. Even the broth. It's so delicious, it's so flavorful, and the aroma of the toasted rice adding here, all the herbs and the ginger leaves, oh, so delicious. Mm. Mm. The pepper leaves. Mm. Mm. Oh. The spiciness is just right for me. Oh my. Oh. Mm. Oh my. She knew not catch up earlier. ญาจันยูฮงออโจโดกออตุนามากาติเตปอพอนะกูตุพงยูญาจันยูฮงมอโดกูนะกาชับเลยเดี๋ยวมูออปิตุพงยูโดกูนอนอ่ะเทมาเ